I'm Karen Morgan. Hi, my name's Jim Colleton. I am a wife. I am a husband. I am a mom. I'm also a dad. I have a vacuum cleaner. I'm not really sure how it works. I am a modern dad, which means I, I go food shopping for my family. I never buy the right thing. I never go in our garage. I'm not really sure what my kids are doing out there. I don't want to know. I put a lot of chemicals on my grass. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I do compost. I throw rotten bananas and apples over into the neighbor's yard. I have three beautiful children, a lovely wife, and a lot of days I'm pretty angry. But that's okay. That's what dads do. We have a show. It is called Lawn and Disorder. It's about family and marriage and parenting. Lawn care, recycling, vacations. Dirt, debris, chaos. Playdates, other parents. Anything that may or may not piss you off. <laughs> Our show is about life. And life is messy and chaotic and sometimes gross. But life is also very funny. When you come to see Lawn and Disorder, you're going to get to see comedy. I do enjoy being married. My wife explains a lot of things to me. I think you need someone in your life that's going to explain things. The last thing she helped me with was Facebook. I was not on Facebook. And if you're not on Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. People get mad when they find out you're not involved in Facebook. You are not on Facebook? Oh, you need to get on Facebook. You're like, all right, settle down, Grandma. I just walked in, all right? So I got on Facebook, but not for a couple months now. I go to my wife, I go, I don't get it. I don't understand Facebook. She goes, oh, you know why you don't get Facebook? You don't care about other people. And she's exactly right. <laughs> now, I don't wish ill will on anyone. I just could care less what they're doing in their day-to-day -day life. You know how they have that like button? I think they should have a care less button right next to it. <laughs> with our kids, my husband and I went out to dinner, and I tried to call home and check on her. Nobody answered. Later on, I said, why didn't you pick up the phone when I called? She said, I couldn't answer the phone because I was too busy trying to vote for you on Dancing with the Stars. I said, what are you talking about? She said, well, I was watching Dancing with the Stars, and every time the phone would ring, a little box would come up on the TV set with your name in it and a phone number to call. I'm so glad y'all get this. I really am. You will also see a game show. Rob, what is your wife going to say is the best gift you ever gave her? New house. A new house. Rip Everett, a picnic basket. Oh. <laughs> you could have saved yourself a lot of money there, Rob. And at the end of the show, we are going to solve all of your problems. Real questions from the audience. So the next one is, what do you do when your next door neighbor begins and ends his day with Miller Lite and 80s rock music? You join him! <laughs> Can my 17-year-old have his 18-year-old girlfriend sleep over? Uh, it depends what she looks like. I will have to <laughs> and who better to solve your problems than two stand-up comedians? So you don't want to miss Lawn and Disorder. Honestly, this show will change your life. Financially, religiously, you probably lose weight also. <laughs>